Welcome back everybody. So this Halloween event is a lot of fun for me personally. Little things like this, Shuppets lined up. <laughs> Pretty cool. Looking for my shiny. Hopefully I get to find one soon. Uh, Dusclops here. Uh, not a very high CP, but it, it was still just for fun. Pine up that thing. And I have to clear something up. <laughs> In my uh, first Gen 3 Ghost video with the Mewtwo, I said to only use your pineapple berries on the ghosts. Well, that was me thinking that they weren't going to be so abundant. And I have to take that back. Don't just use your pineapps on ghosts. Use them on everything. Especially things that take very little candies to evolve, like Pidgeys, Pid uh, Caterpies. Um, you know, things like that. So you can get more experience by evolving more. Uh, that's if you're looking for experience. And we have a nice little cluster here. Yeah, it's pretty fun. All right, so uh, this footage is just basically me doing a little morning grinding. That was uh, late at night before. Now this is in the morning, the afternoon. Uh, and then I'm going to show you what I've what I've caught all the Pokemon. I've Granted, I've transferred quite a few. We'll take a look at my Pokedex and all that stuff. And I have hatched so many eggs. I actually need to make an egg video pretty soon here. So uh, I'm on the hunt for a bayonet right now and haven't done too much neighborhood hunting. Um, this was pretty fun. Uh, I usually just skip them. Even if I see something rare uh, nowadays, it's just I don't really feel like going after it because I know the IVs are going to be great and I need to go get more uh, Pokeballs or whatever I'm doing. All right, so yeah, trying to catch this and check out this move set that it has. Pretty crazy. Let's see here. Hex and Thunder. What? I was like, seriously, what? Thunder? Okay. Works for me. All right, so we're going to take a look at just one more uh, wild Halloween event Pokemon catch, and then we're going to go into my Pokemon and check out what I have after a session of about an hour and a half of grinding or so. I have something I need to go to today. Uh, it's a Pokemon Go meetup downtown, uh, so that should be pretty fun, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so caught the Houndoon with an excellent throw, and... Just, just catching it, and I wasn't expecting anything great out of it. Um, sorry, actually, there's going to be a few more <laughs> uh, Halloween catches. We have a Sableye now. Oh my goodness! So I have to let you, you all know that Sableye is a beast in the gyms. When he's attacking, he is so good. I can't wait to get a shiny one, or a good, or one with good IVs, something, so I can power it up immediately and make the power of Sableye video. That's going to be really fun. All right, so now let's go ahead and look into my Pokemon here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at my Pokedex really fast, and I'll go ahead and look at the Pokemon that I've caught during my grinding. All right, so let's start with uh, Sableye up here. And I'm, I am using the Go Plus. Um, I remember that was the one that ran away from me, actually ran away while I was trying to catch it myself. All right, 83 scene, 56 caught. Two scene, two caught. 63 scene, 41 caught, and 4 scene, 3 caught. All right, and Dusclops, I am going to get into him more, more gym battles and stuff. I'm just, I don't want to rush it all right now, you know what I mean? And I did leave the sound on a little bit so you could hear their cries because I'm pretty sure I haven't been adding in their cries, and I don't even think I've heard uh, the sound of these new Pokemon on my videos except for the gym battles. All right, so we're going to listen to their cries really quick. I should have done that in the Pokedex, but sorry, right, let's do it here. So this is my best one, and we'll go through all of them here. Let's just listen to them really fast. Don't you just love that little twitch he does? Look at that little twitch at the end. Neat. <laughs> and if he just stands here for a minute, his little taunt deal, he does a little twitchy thing. All right, so this one isn't that great. Decent. Good. Good CP, but uh, it's nothing I'm going to power up. I'm going to keep it, though, until I get something better. Shuff it. Alright. Pretty funny thing. Alright, so... The one that I like the most, really quick, let's go to Dust Skull. I think I like his cry the best out of all of them. Listen to it. Sounds very creepy. Yeah. A little intimidating, a little uh, spooky. I like it. It's good. All right, and then let's check out Dusclops here. 
not so freaky in my opinion, but the skull, that thing is <laughs> creepy. All right, so um, bayonet, also a nice cry, a nice design. Did a good job with these ghost sprites, Niantic. I'm really liking them. All right, so here you have it. There's my haul. Basically, just have to go down here. Let's go up to the top recent so you can see everything that I've caught re recently. Oh, all right. So go plus another Pikachu with the witch hat. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to transfer this. Yeah, I'm transferring it right away. Yes. And they do ask you two times if you really want to transfer it. All right. Transfer all the high evolved things because I, I like to get rid of those first if they don't have good IVs because I know I don't want to keep them. As for all the other uh, stage or basic Pokemon, I just kind of keep hold on to them so I can check their IVs and, and or evolve them and all that good stuff, okay? Let's go ahead and look at the Pichu with the hat really quick. Oh, snap. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, gym battle that I just uploaded. Used the Pichu with the hat. Actually did work with that. Uh, that that charge move is hilarious. All right, so there you have it. And here's my Entei. If you missed that video, it is a 95% 15 attack, 15 defense, and 13 stamina or 12. So this is the one I'm going to be powering up. Booyakasha. Not sure what I'm going to do it because letting go of the Stardust to do it at this moment for me is a little bit... Ooh, I don't know if I really want to. I know I said I'm going to power up the legendaries, which I will. It's just I need to be a little bit smart right now because there's quite a few things that I want to power up at the moment. Things that I might want to drop in gyms, you know? All right, so my Dusclops. I don't know. Posting this video now is probably going to get taken out, but it's been in here for a minute. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and, and feed everybody here. This gym. Looks like it might be getting taken down. Golden Raz, uh, let's go. I, I think it is, it's getting taken down. Okay. And let's give mine a Golden Raz too. Is that a waste of Golden Raspberries? Maybe, but I, you know, I'm gonna give them right back. I do those raids all day. Uh, I haven't been doing them lately because, um, well, I had that Mewtwo raid yesterday and Gen 3 Ghosts are dropping with this event, so raids are really not priority number one. I was headed to an Executor raid, but there was construction and I couldn't get to it. And uh, when I wanted to use all Darking Ghost types, you know, for the uh, theme. Alright, so there you have it. I need to go and sort through these. I did transfer a whole lot of them before the event started because I wanted to make space and I didn't want to do it while the event was here. I need as much time as I can to focus on what's happening in the game. So still on the hunt for that shiny Sableye. And yes, it is good. It's very nice. Let's look at the movesets here. We have Shadow Claw and Foul Play. Oh man, Shadow Claw is so good. The only bad thing about Shadow Claw at the moment for Pokemon Go is that Snorlax, Blissey's, um, Tyranitars are one of the main things in gyms. And, you know, it's not very effective. But there is, it's all good because there's other options with Sableye. So you have Faint Attack and then Foul Play here. And then he had Power Gem. There we go. Faint Attack and Power Gem. Going to hit those Gyarados and Dragonites where it hurts. Oh my goodness. Uh, Sableye. I'm so happy they made it actually pretty decent. I mean, it's CP is not going to reach some... There he goes. Did you see his little twitch? I love that. Uh, his CP is not going to reach extreme high peaks but you know as you've seen if you haven't seen my gym battle video video with it go take a look go give it a shot yourself i mean if you try to go up against like a 2700 dragonite and you're not dodging i mean don't expect it to last very long at all but if you're throwing in a few dodges and you have something that's super effective like per se power gem uh, you're going to be doing some damage and surprisingly you can take quite a few hits so I'm actually, I'm really happy guys, because if Pokemon are useless and not even that great, then there's no point for me to power them up. And I know I've said before that not, there's no Pokemon that's useless, everything's got their strong point. That's true, but Sableye doesn't have any evolutions, 
other than Mega, and that's not coming anytime soon. So I want to see him do pretty good, you know what I mean? All right, so there you have it on Sableye, in my opinion. Uh, we'll talk a lot more about all the ghosts down the road. Uh, you know you know how it is. Let's go up really quick and take a look at my Mewtwo's. Um, I'm not trying to show off or nothing. This is just, you know, letting everybody know who likes to watch me. All right, so third Mewtwo, extra large, confusion and shadow ball. Uh, the IVs are 84%, 12 attack, 15 defense, and uh, stamina is like 12 or something like that. So, eh. I'm happy I have another one, but uh, it's definitely not going to get powered up because uh, if I get another EX pass and I get a better Mewtwo, well, that's a lot of rare candies and Stardust, which both of those things are extremely rare in the game. I mean, Stardust is not, you can't really say Stardust is rare, but, you know, accumulating a lot is, you know, tedious. Alrighty, so with that said, pretty neat. I still have three, and I don't know, um, it has Shadow Ball. I was thinking of just using it, going up against a uh, Gengar, seeing how much it can do compared to a maxed out one. Obviously, it's not going to perform as good, but, you know, it still might do as good as, say, maybe a maxed Gengar. You know what I mean? So, uh, with that said, yep, there we have it, all my stuff, and let me take a look at my eggs. Those 10Ks are, in fact, from the event. I don't know, somebody said Sableye hatches from 10K, but I haven't really looked around or anything yet. And uh, all these eggs are from the event. All these eggs are basically, I picked them up yesterday and the 10Ks today. So we'll see what hatches from those. Pretty exciting. Alrighty, with that said, I'm going to get back on my grind and see what I can find. I'm really wanting that Sableye shiny because it's shiny, it actually looks different. Some Pokemon are just a slight tad shade, you know, the colors is a shade up different than the original. It's like, oh, that's cool, you know, and that's neat. But this one is completely like different. Gold? What? Gold! Oh my gosh, I want it so bad. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. And let me see here. I'm really liking my avatar with this style. The yellow gloves with the uh, yellow line shoe and then the Mimi Q hat that is a lighter yellow um, I tried a whole bunch of different clothes on to see what kind of style looks good with it it even tried let me see here uh, where's that sweater at the sweater the the red one with the yellow line through it uh, the gym battle one I call it the gym battle one because uh, that symbol in the back all right and like this here all right and then <laughs> not bad, not bad. And then these goofy hats. Oh, <laughs> goofy hats, goofy pants. All right, what do you think about that? Does that look pretty good? <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I'll be catching you on my next video. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Look at this little guy. Go read his description. A little creepy little thing.